All right, guys, we're going to talk a little cleaning this morning. How's your laundry doing these days? How's your house looking these days? Maybe if you're a bit unorganized, guess what? You can just blame it on your zodiac sign, maybe. That's what our next guest is going to talk with us about. It's always such a treat to have Victoria Sophia joining us. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. You know, for those of us who like to, you know, blame things on certain people, you know, this is something that you're going to want to hear because there's a chance that your disorganized piles of laundry and dishes sitting in the sink can be blamed on your zodiac sign. That's right. When you were born could actually be blamed on how you take care of your home. Okay. So tell me more. How on earth did we come to this conclusion? You know, it's just every zodiac sign has their own traits. And so, you know, it actually goes right into your cleaning style and your in your habits that you have throughout life. So it's it's kind of funny that we can actually bring it over to cleaning, but it makes sense when you think of all the traits that each of these zodiac signs have. So like Virgo, they're known to be the neatest. They're very organized. Like if you want to stop by their house, they never have to worry about somebody coming by unexpectedly and having to clean for them because they're so detail oriented and they always have a place clean. So, you know, if you're born between August 23rd and September 22nd, you're known to be the neatest. <laughs> okay. All right. Who's and the messiest? I know. So right now I'm going to get a lot of hate mail, I'm sure, from this. But if you're Pisces, you're known to be the messiest. So that's right. February 19th to March 20th, you kind of don't sweat the small stuff and you're very go with the flow and you're very, you know, like, if I feel like cleaning, I'll do it. I'll, I'll start a project. I'll leave it. And it's, it's funny because, you know, it causes frustration and you end up with a messy home, which means that you're like running around when somebody comes by or tells you that they're on their way to come over because you want to make sure it's a clean house for them or not as messy. So Pisces, because they're very go with the flow, they wait until the moment strikes for them to clean. Okay. So I'm gonna put myself on the spot. Apparently I'm putting myself on the spot with you too, because we both share the same sign. We're both cancers. Yeah, we're both cancers. I'm June 28th, you're June 20, uh, July 20th, and we're uh -huh. known to be very loyal and nurturing, which is very nice. Okay, um, so they're, I like that. And they're also known to be very, uh, all about comfort. So we're having, you're all about home and family and comfort, which, you know, it, it makes sense. You know, you want others to be comfortable around you. Um, and you want to make sure your home's not messy so that your friends can, you know, stop by and they feel comfortable around. But the thing is, with camp you're very, butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I have to accept it too. We're very much sentimental. So there, there are chances that we have like knickknacks and other sentimental items around the home that could possibly cause clutter. Um, <laughs> so we do have a little bit of an issue with clutter at times. And um, the one way that people say like we should, you know, uh, deal with our sign the best is maybe getting like storage bins, or organizational like uh, things to put things away if we can't get rid of them. So if we have things from college, we have things from all of our travels, things from children, you know, throughout the years, you know, like the artwork that we want to save, uh, a great way to make sure that the cancer sign doesn't get to us is to make sure that we have like ways to actually put it away and not make it like clutter around the home. Oh my gosh. That, yeah. You're speaking my language. I have three kids yeah. at home. So that's always, yeah. you're like, I don't know, do we keep this? Do we not? And let me tell you, I love to bin up some things and put it in a, in a spot and yeah, I'm trying to cute, clutter. I'm trying. Yeah. So all the cute organizational items that we could possibly have in order to keep like less clutter in the home and just make it a little bit more organized. Those are things that are kind of made and created for us, the cancer. So yeah. June 21st, July 22nd, pretty much that's what we have to deal with. Okay. So <laughs> let me ask you this though, just because whatever yeah. your sign is, give some hope that that doesn't mean that that's just where you're stuck in how you clean and how you organize. Right. Nothing. Like, no, we can I, I feel like uh, we can all change. This is all in good fun. We were just taking the trace of each of the signs to give everybody an idea of like what their cleaning style is depend depending on their Zodiac signs. But it, it doesn't mean that we're not going to be able to change because just because you're a Pisces and you're known to be the messiest, it doesn't mean that like, you're not definitely going to be able to change and be a less messy. Also, the idea of, you know, having Pisces as your sign, it doesn't mean that, you know, you're not going to be a neater person depending on where you fall on it. So the people that are more February 19th, they're on the cusp of a different sign. There's a chance that they could also, you know, be a little bit messy. All right. I'm getting told to ask about Gemini. That is Miss oh. Natalie. So 
So Natalie knows already how Gemini, Geminis are. And Geminis don't fall very far from the traits that they have when it comes to cleaning either. You are either very much happy to clean your home one day and you're very tidy, or you could be messy the next day. Gemini, it makes sense. Gemini, you know, the twins. So you have two different signs, you know, working together, pulling you together for the traits. Um, and, I, you know, it, it's also fun because there are things that Geminis don't clean often. They forget to clean, like their phone or their laptop. So there are times that, you know, Geminis have a little, you know, uh, a neat, a neat free kind of trait. And then there also can be messy and there are things that they forget. So it's kind of fun to watch that. <laughs> I love this. This was a lot of fun. Hey, where can people follow you? I know this is just uh, one of the things that you love talking about on your blogs and different things. Yeah. So you can go to happilyevervictoria.com to find me or go on social and, you know, you go to one of my accounts and I'll chat with you there. And um, next time I'm on, you know, the morning one. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. You know what I need to do is check my kids' signs and see kind of how they are going to adapt because I'm trying to get them to help clean more too. It's a team effort. So if I can maybe yeah, figure yeah. out where they're coming from, I can help. You can just blame me. You can say, well, Victoria told me your sign does this and you forget to clean this. So you need to focus on this now. <laughs> Victoria, always a treat. Thank you so much. Thanks again.